Hello and welcome back to ASX Options. This is Jonathan speaking. Today we're going to be talking about the strike price and expiration date of options. So the strike and exercise price. So what is this? It's the price at which the underlying will be delivered should the holder of the option choose to exercise his right to buy or sell. So essentially it's just the level that we're willing to transact at. So let's move on through to an example here. I've got the stock price movement for ASX um, BHP shares. In blue is the historical price and that white line is just a scenario that we've run. So let's say that we've, um, we've bought a call. So a call option, so that's the right to buy shares at a given level. And that given level here is $30 where that line is. So let's say by the end of 2020 that the price goes up to $37. Okay, so at that time, we're going to be able to, us, the owner or the buyer of the call, will pay the exercise price or that strike price, $30. And then the seller of the call is going to deliver the amount of shares to us for that agreed price. And here in this scenario, we're better off by $7.00. Now let's imagine that the strike price has moved up to $35. Now we're better off by $2. Now, as the owner of the share, if we had if we had bought an option with the underlying strike price of $40, we would not want to exercise this option. So we wouldn't want to be buying shares for $40 at the end of 2020 if we could go into the market and purchase them for $37. And that's similar for this strike at 45. So moving on to the other side of the equation, let's imagine that we had a put, okay? So we're the owner of the put and we're going to receive the exercise price. And the person, the seller is going to deliver the contract to us, the underlying for that price. So let's say we've bought a put for 30 at the $30 strike price, okay? And then the stock ends up being $20. So it technically we've been able to sell at $30 and we've made a difference there of $10. Here we'd be able to sell at $25. Here receive for about break even at $20. And here you wouldn't want to exercise the put because why would you sell for $15 when you can go into the market and sell for 20? And here we have a scenario that's fairly neutral with a strike of 30 and the stock price just hovering around it. So if this is a call, we wouldn't want to exercise it. If it was a put, we might want to exercise it. So the expiration date or expiry is the date on which the owner of an option must make a final decision to buy in the case of a call or sell in the case of the put. So let's see what that means. So again, let's picture that we have BHP and here we are at um, the end of April now, and we've got these different scenarios, a stock price where it's gone up substantially, this kind of neutral scenario sitting around $30 and then this low price scenario. So the expiration date is essentially this line. Where do we want to bet out to? Okay, so how many months, how many years do we want to say, do we want to purchase optionality for? And essentially here we've got a four month option. You can see the stock price can only move so far. And then the further you move out, the more dispersion you can get with the stock price, the more possible values that that share price could take on. So in summary, the strike or exercise price is the price at which the underlying will be delivered if exercised by the holder. And the expiration date is the date on which the owner of the option must decide to buy in the case of a call or sell in the case of a put. Thank you very much for listening to ASX Options. Please join us for the next video. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button.